Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to show you how to update your OpenTX radio to the latest version of Edge TX 2.8.0 which just came out. As always, I'm Jeff with Titan FPV. First order of business guys, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscription button, click that notification bell, and you'll be notified of all new content that I upload to the channel. I'm going to be using my Radio Master TX16S that shipped with OpenTX in this tutorial, but this should work for pretty much any OpenTX radio. If you're already running EdgeTX, you can still follow this tutorial. You're just going to want to skip the bootloader flashing part because that's not required when you're already coming from an older version of EdgeTX. First, you're going to download the EdgeTX flasher. I'll post a link in the video description. Install that. You're going to want to back up your SD card contents if you have models set up. This is a new radio, so I don't have to do that. Make sure you download the SD card contents for 2.8.0 for the, your radio's resolution and copy those to the SD card. Once we've got the HTX flasher downloaded and installed, we'll open it up. We're going to choose Install HTX, and you can select the latest version, which is 2.8.0. You're then going to have to pick your radio, which in this case is the Radio Master TX16S. You're going to hit save to file and choose a location. You're going to go ahead and save your firmware bin file. This is also going to flash the bootloader, as you'll see here in a second. You're going to go ahead and connect your radio, select USB storage. Then you're going to navigate to where you exported the bin file, which in this case was the downloads folder. You're going to copy the bin file and you're going to go over to the SD card of your radio. And then you're going to find the firmware folder. This is on the SD card and paste the bin file. Once you got that pasted, you can safely eject your radio. To flash the bootloader, you can start your radio like normal. If your radio is already running HDX, you can skip this part of the process. You're going to navigate over to the SD card. Click on the firmware folder. And you're going to flash the bin file that you transferred earlier. Click flash bootloader. And you're all set. Now when you go to start in bootloader mode, you'll have the EdgeTX bootloader instead of the OpenTX bootloader. You're going to hold the two trim switches on the side in and press the power button. You're going to select write firmware and navigate to the bin file. You're going to hold the enter button to flash and it's going to flash the firmware. Once it's all done, you can go ahead and hit return to exit and then exit again and the radio will restart. And now you've successfully flashed EdgeTX 2.8.0. You will want to make sure to calibrate your sticks. There is a process that you can go ahead and compile your own sound packs, but I'm going to post the English sound pack and a link in the video description so you can download that if you want. Make sure to copy that to the sounds folder on your SD card. That should make the process easier. We can go over and see that the new firmware is optimized for the touchscreen of the TX16S. And as you see, we're running HTX 2.8.0, the Flying Dutchman. For some reason you don't flash the EdgeTX bootloader and boot into the OpenTX bootloader and try to flash EdgeTX, this is the error that you're going to get. Hope this video was informative guys. Thanks again for tuning in. If you got any comments or questions, post them down below. And as always, we'll catch you in the next one.